Fen Harel, the Dread Wolf. There is precious little we know about Fen Harel, for they say he did not care for our people. Elkernon and Mithal created the world as we know it, and Drill taught us the ways of the hunter. Selys and June gave us fire and crafting, but Fen Harel kept to himself and plotted the betrayal of all the gods. And after the destruction of Arlathan, when the gods could no longer hear our prayers, it is said that Fen Harel spent centuries in a far corner of the earth, giggling madly and hugging himself in glee. The legend says that before the fall of Arlathan, the gods we know and revere fought an endless war with others of their kind. There is not a Haran among us who remembers these others. Only in dreams do we hear whisper the names of Gelderon and Darenthal and Inaris. For they are the forgotten ones, the gods of terror and malice, spite and pestilence. In ancient times, only Fenrir could walk without fear among both our gods and the forgotten ones. For although he is kin to the gods of the people, the forgotten ones knew of his cunning ways and saw him as one of their own. And that is how Fenrir tricked them. Our gods saw him as a brother, and they trusted him when he said that they must keep to the heavens while he arranged a truce. And the Forgotten Ones trusted him also when he said he would arrange for the defeat of our gods, if only the Forgotten Ones would return to the Abyss for a time. They trusted Fenrir, and they were all of them betrayed. And Fenrir sealed them away so they could never again walk among the people. From the tale of Fenhurel's triumph, as told by Gisherel, keeper of the Rotharian clan of the Dalish Elves.